Good morning, YouTube. And it is a good morning, especially if you're me, because you're back and making YouTube videos. Hooray! Uh, it's been a while since I've made a last YouTube video. What's up with that? Well, I was busy. I had school to do, and I completed college. That's right, I graduated. Congrats to me. And I had to figure some life stuff out and get a job, etc. And now I'm back to the arts and crafts, and I'm very excited to take you along this next journey. This is me stomping in excitement because we're going to make some stained glass art. This is a new to me art, which I'm really excited to show you about. Let's see if my roommate is excited to join me for some some art and crafts. Oh, nope. Sorry, Scott. Okay, so anyway, at Hobby Lobby, I saw all these stained glass sheets and all the tools and everything, and I was like, what the heck is this? So I looked up on YouTube and I spent my stimulus check on all this stuff and I decided for my first craft I was going to make the logo for our house. We give our house like a pet name, you know? Neverland. So that's the stencil I made and how easy is it? You just have to score the glass with this tool and then just snap it right in half. Kind of scary. I won't lie because it seems like it's wrong to break glass. Normally it is. But this time it's not. It's just scary. It just feels wrong. So I use this layout to make a template and all the pieces of paper I would just kind of line up on the sheet of glass and then cut where I needed to cut. Um, a lot of it, the shapes like rectangles and squares, pretty simple. The curves, not so simple. And with a lot, I need a, a lot more experience to get the curves nice and smooth, but I did use a certain kind of pliers that helped to like um, cut them better. I don't know, it was just, it was like munching on the glass. Like it kind of broke up a lot of little shards and stuff, and that was kind of scary to me. It didn't seem like it was right. Oh, that's an example of me doing it right there. Well, anyway, I would have simplified the template uh, much more so in the future, I think I'm going to spend more time even using the computer to make a much nicer template um, to go ahead and give myself a better chance of getting all the pieces to fit together nice and neat. As it was, it was pretty loose. But that's okay because it's pretty forgiving, which you will see towards the end. Okay, day two, we're starting off with some um, cough syrup. No, that's cutting fluid. Uh, right, for the cutting tool, for the scoring uh, carbide blade. Anyway, this was fun. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. So with these curves, you don't want to go too sharp of a curb and try and snap it because the, cur the, the break will just run right away from you. So you want to make shallower cuts until you get to your final line. Uh, it definitely takes practice and glass shards kind of fly everywhere and it's kind of scary. You know, only a few of them poked me and drew a drop of blood or two, but all in all, nothing too bad, nothing too scary. You know, it's the perfect craft because there's a little bit of danger, uh, so it's kind of like exciting. You got to be cautious. You got to be a little bit, you know, a little bit skilled. You got to use the knife and cut your lines and measure it out, calculate it, okay? But it's forgiving because they can be loosely put together and still when you uh, solder them all together, which we'll see in a minute, the solder can cover over a multitude of errors, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I think just lots of practice to to get those curves nice and neat uh, would have been beneficial. Originally, I thought I was going to cut white stained glass and put it where the NVLD is. But then I was like, no way, it's not going to fit. I'm not that good. And the curves um, were probably going to be too hard, especially on the, the letter D. Uh, so now I'm wrapping around the edges of every single piece this copper, copper foil tape, and that's going to serve as like the surface that the solder uh, binds to. The solder does not bind to the glass, so you just go along the lines. <laughs> Look how satisfying that is. It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, you just solder along those golden lines, so they will disappear. But yeah, that was two days work, um, or maybe just one day's work. I don't know. I spent a long time on this. Anyway, now comes the fun part of the soldering. I've never soldered before. I've never really done this technique. This was really fun. I'm just tacking it together so the whole thing stays like as one before I solder along the lines. Uh, next time I would really 
much rather have like kind of an outer frame, like a piece of wood or something uh, to keep everything locked in place. So it's not moving uh, all about like it's a jigsaw puzzle or something that, that doesn't really connect. I don't know. Anyway, the soldering was fun. You're supposed to end up with a, a nice bead. Um, in this part right here that you see, that's probably the nicest that it was, um, which isn't saying much. It pretty much just got worse as I went on. Uh, but that's what practice is for. I had a lot of fun. It smelled bad, but that's okay. Make sure that you're in a ventilated room and you rub on this kind of like flux stuff. That's what's in the magenta cup. You rub it on there so the flux can, or so the solder can flow nice and nice. And yeah, now I'm tinning the edges of the copper foil. That's the technical term for this process, okay? We're tinning the edges. Fun. So everything is like silver and not bronze. So last but not least, I had to attach the inside of the letter D, which I used some of that copper tape. Realized I needed to use my head in order to get it done. Well, it still didn't work even after, even after trying very very hard for 30 minutes uh in a lot of con concentration i ended up with this cool spaceship looking thing okay so if you're following along at home just do that save yourself some time some headache make sure you wash the glass also with soap and water and look at that not bad for my first project Thanks for watching, YouTube.